Hello, my loves, and welcome back to Body Life YouTube channel. As you guys can see, I am so unbelievably excited to talk to you about the Aquarius new moon. This is one of those game changer new moons. I know I say that pretty often on this on this channel. Anytime I talk to you guys about new moons, full moons, manifestation in general, but it's because they really are. These are opportunities for us to put out to the universe or watch what comes and approaches us in our intimate lives and in our personal lives, or even as we're watching on the news, just different energies and different opportunities and different moments that really kind of reveal to us things that are so needed. This Aquarius new moon in particular is really leaning into the realms of freedom also personal expansion, but we want to talk about this a little bit further. I don't want to just put it out there and not give you the details of what it is that you can expect with this new moon. I do also want to tell you that with new moons, of course, there's an opportunity for you to set intention for you to manifest, but it does have the potential to open up doors. In this case, some of the doors for some people here may not be the most easy doors for that <clears throat> we'll be excited to walk through, especially um, I, I'm very curious about people in the public eye lately. There is a really interesting turbulence that's happening with celebrities and those types of energies. So we'll talk about it all, I promise. Go ahead and get cozy, get your tea, and then let's go ahead and dive right in. So I hope that you have you your tea. I hope that you're cozy. I hope that you're vibing. I'm ready. <laughs> I hope you're ready. So let's go ahead and start with new moon energies. In a nutshell, new moons traditionally are times where we can plant the seeds of our manifestations, things that is that we wish to manifest, things that we want to set intention for. For that reason, I like to look at the new moon as one aspect of feminine energy where she's very open to receiving and she's more reflective on what can happen instead of reflective on what has already happened. I hope that makes sense being reflective on what can happen versus reflecting on what has already happened. However, follow your own internal feminine magic, however you resonate with that. So you don't need to be a woman or identify as a woman or a female in order to lean into your feminine energy. Anybody can do that. But basically what it is, is what you are open to receiving from the universe. And in this case, this looks a lot like knowledge, wisdom, information that leads to knowledge that <laughs> activates your wisdom. I'm also seeing freedom here. I'm also seeing being highlighting the energy of discernment within your choices, being very mindful of the choices that is that you're making when it comes to your future and when it comes to future planning. I do want to say that a lot of these energies here that reveal like our nods to the future and re a nods to like how you want to plan your future. We want to make sure that we're not a hundred percent dead set on what we expect things to look like and how we expect things to happen, not just for this new moon, but for this year, because this energy is very turbulent. There's highs, there's lows. It's going to be very hard for us to accurately 100% predict what is going to happen. This is one of those years where it's in our best interest to have an idea of what we want for ourselves, be excited for what can happen or what is manifesting and things that we're setting intention for, but also keeping an open mind to how the universe is guiding us, knowing that it is for our highest and greatest good. Now, with Aquarius energy, there has to be some realm of detachment. This doesn't mean that you are completely numb to things or that you're dissociating for your every from your everyday experience that you don't allow yourself to feel things aquarius is actually very fully feeling of its emotions even though it doesn't it doesn't seem to register as that especially as an air sign that is just kind of doing what it does on its own on its own accord um but with with this energy there is a detachment from this expectation of how it is that we see how how we see things to be and understanding that we are being in every single second of the moment kind of of our moments we're being inspired our action our steps our visions all of that are being inspired by the higher 
the higher power, by our transits that are happening within our chart, within our higher wisdom, within our higher selves. There's some type of um, inspiration that we are downloading if we are open to receiving it. If not, if you're not open to inspiration, if you're not open to pivoting in your in your life and in your direction, you may find yourself frustrated. This is again a nod to the, that part of you that needs to detach so that you can step back, see the bigger picture, and then light that flame of passion wherever the universe is calling you, wherever the universe is taking you. With this new moon, I do see some some changes happening as far and like pivots as far as your plans for the future, as far as your plans for life. You may have thought that you were walking forward in one direction, that this is the way, and then the universe throws something in your lap and says, surprise, have you considered this option or you were considered for this path? Is this, is this something that also resonates with you? You do have... Um, what is it? Free will with your choices, with your decisions. With that reason, I ask you to have discernment with, for that reason, I ask that you ask your angels and your guides, your ancestors, the universe, the higher power to inspire your next steps so that whatever you choose is at least has that influence. And it's not just you kind of jumping on these opportunities as they as they show up. Now, this is me talking about the more positive aspect of this chart and the more positive aspect of this new moon. I will talk to you more about the negative aspects, so buckle up for that. When it comes to celebrities and people in the limelight or people in um, the focus of people's like mind's eye, there's a lot of judgment, a lot of harshness. I'm sure you guys have seen that already. It's just a tough time to be someone in the public eye. So I really respect those celebrities who are falling off the radar right now. Um, just because I think it's in your best interest to kind of coast under this under this energy. It just and this doesn't need to necessarily apply to those who are celebrities, but in who are focusing to be seen by others because there's a lot of harshness there's a lot of judgment there's a lot of criticism that i'm seeing within the charts this is something that i feel regardless of who you are i feel like human beings can do without um harsh judgment and criticism that's just me and the compassion that is that i feel for humanity as a whole um i know that some people feel like they're deserving of it i know that some people believe you know karma and stuff like that and yeah i i feel that but for for the most part i think harsh criticism of, of a human being in the public eye is is tough you know it's hard to recover from that i don't wish that on my worst enemy so that's something that i think that is a warning sign for this new moon is if i if i were you or if you can if you could help it try to avoid any type of um uh, putting yourself in a position to be criticized because the the light that comes from this seems like it'll be beneficial for money or resources. It can create like a like a surge, especially if there's attention on you. But it's the mental emotional well being the to the toll that it takes on a human being's men um, mental is uh, to me. I would wonder if it's worth it. So this is, again, this energy that, is that I'm seeing of detaching from the public, detaching from social media. For some of you guys, you might actually find that you're being inspired to do like social media detoxing. You might find that you are, your path may be pulling you away from social media influence, from, from networking, from friendships, connections, communities, those types of things. You'll have your opportunity to return back to it, but I do see a nod towards taking a step back at least starting at the new moon or it's already been activated by the new moon. Okay. The other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is these, again, these surprises when it comes to opportunities and especially when it comes to money and resources, I think you'd be surprised where, where your finances, where money will come dripping in from. So that's definitely something to look out for. There's one thing to be said about how you set intention and how you wish for money to reach you and how you expect it to come to you, I do wanna tell you to keep an open mind with this because the universe is gonna surprise you with resources and not even I can see that right now. Right, I wouldn't be able to see exactly where it is that it's coming from, especially not looking at a general 
new moon chart, I would have to look at your personal, your personal chart. But for all of us, because I want to cover everyone here as if we're doing a free reading, I would, I mean, technically this is free, right? Actually, it's not free. Can you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up? That would really help. <laughs> that would really help in um, my YouTube channel. And um, feel free to share this on your own socials or little blips on TikTok, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So leaning into this though, really try to be open of where vast, vast prosperity will come from and what it will look like. For everyone, it's gonna be different. Again, you may have three weeks from now, right? And when this new moon happens, I really want to ask you, like if you could come back in the comments and say, yo, Jess, Three weeks ago, I would have never thought that this would have been an opportunity. I never thought that this would even be something that's on the table. And now this is taking off and now this is happening for me. I would be a fool not to follow this, right? Go ahead and follow that ambition, follow that passion, follow those opportunities as they're showing up. Um, I think you, again, it's just, I think you would be surprised where, where it's going to be coming from. There is, um, I just heard the word emerge and I don't know why. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle on this while I'm looking at the chart. Um, I heard the word emerge. So something might be emerging for someone here. Wow. I just saw the eight of wands. So that's a card of speed. Four of cups is showing up too. This might be information. Okay. Wow. You have the sun card here. That's very, very beautiful. It is reversed from the way that it is that I'm looking at it right now but it doesn't matter. The sun card tends to be pretty positive regardless. Four of cups, wow. Then you have 10 of cups, king of wands, the page of cups. Well, I'm just flinging these cards everywhere. And the four of wands, wow. So this is very, very interesting to me. Um, looking at these cards, you guys, many of you guys are, you're, oh, when I heard the word emerge, I feel like this new moon is going to be you emerging in your full power. You're going to be merging in your full capacity. You're going to, some of you guys are fulfilling a huge, wow, I just heard, wow, it's not that you're fulfilling a huge debt, it's that the universe owes you something and you haven't, you might not have received it yet. This could be like a check. This could be... Um, a relationship, this could be an opportunity, this could be something that advances you, something that levels up your your joy, your happiness. It, I don't know why, but it, I feel like you're going to be emerging on top for many, for many of you guys. Um, some of it has to do with, definitely has to do with relationships, but I'm really wanting to talk about money and opportunities showing up on your doorstep and like in front of your eye. Some of you guys, it's like you feel very lucky. You feel like luck is turning in your favor. Part of this is um, literally the part of fortune sitting, squaring um, Uranus. And also that part of fortune is um, sending a signal or the new moon is sending a signal to the part of fortune through Uranus. So this is the element of surprise. I would... I would, I would say yes to this. I mean, I, I did tell you in the beginning to use discernment, but so definitely do that. But there's something here about your, about your empowerment, about your, for, okay, wow, this is random, but I just heard um, like manhood, which is so interesting. Some of you guys, so when I hear the word manhood, I think about ego and things that is that you have to prove to yourself or things that you feel like you have to prove to others. This is something that makes you feel like you are on top. Probably because you're, you have an opportunity here to like make money. Something about like feeling lucky, feeling like chosen, feeling this could be a promotion. This could be a job offer that enters the chat that you're just like, wow. Some of you guys might be relocating. You have three of cups here, three of pentacles, seven of wands. This is working together as a team, collaborating, connecting, building, ideas, information sharing. I do see some of you guys even like working remotely, but potentially, yep, three of wands, literally three of wands. This is the card of looking out into the future, onto the horizon. This is what's going to be emerging for this new moon. It, it feels very empowered, especially with the sun card here and the in the king of wands. It's the energy of empowerment. I just want to really look at, let me put these cards away because I'm done. The fact that I just pushed them away like they is a sign right there. 
if you are working on manifestation, if you're thinking about setting intention for the new moon, this is one of those moons that I see this as um, calling in things that empower you. Um, for some of you guys, this is um, you discovering something huge about yourself, like discovering something major about yourself, something that you are entitled to be proud of, something that you can even brag about. Something I don't think that you're going to keep to yourself. If this is marketing, I see like a lot of um, like you like a lot of like verbal like um like if you if you say something to someone they're sold like they 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 want to buy what you're saying they believe what you say and i i genuinely see like good intentions however remember how i said that with celebrities and stuff like make sure that you if if you're if you're if you bite off more than you can chew this is not going to be good this will backfire if you are someone who speaks a huge game and can't follow through with it, this is not good for you. If there's a learning curve, and I can see this in my own life, if there's parts of your life that you can learn through, as long as you're honest about that, this is going to trend up. Like this is gonna be something that trends upward in your life. If this is some, I wanna talk to you guys about friendships. If you're someone who's connecting with friendships, social media, it almost seems like when you extend an invitation, you're going to get more yeses. There's something about like how, like if you're selling a party, like I don't want to say selling, but if you're announcing that you're having a party, if you're thinking about throwing a, a thing, like a gathering, people naturally want to say yes to this. They want to, they're like, oh, they're, they'll, I just see that they'll consider it. There's more, some of you guys need to really hear that it's time for you to put yourself out there a little bit more and really sing your own praises. You need to emerge empowered you need to emerge being cocky or not maybe cocky but being confident in what in what you deliver and who you are and the gift that it is that you give and what you bring to the table this new moon is going to activate that energy absolutely of like I do have what it takes I'm some of you guys are starting totally new fresh chapters in your life some of you guys have been walking the same path and you're going to replace it and somehow that the replacement makes you go further like it makes you more abundant let's say let's say you've been doing let's say you've been um showing up in one way in your career or in your job somehow doing like pivoting and changing in a different direction somehow you cut your expenses you and your money like explodes like it expands like quick because you had this idea because you had this venture because you have this fresh start like this new this new thing that approaches you at the new moon inspires you at the new moon it's like if, if um let's say for me right so i have my apothecary and in the apothecary i create my oils my candles um set intention and I wrap them, ship them, pack them. Well, I wrap wrap them, pack them, ship them. This is like, this type of chart reminds me if I was to be able to find a way to not have to pay for shipping, that like a unicorn would just pick up all my orders and like agree to single-handedly kind of deliver them for free as long as I give them access to chew my grass, like eat the grass on the front lawn so that they can like fuel themselves. Like this, I don't know if that's making sense, but it's like, Something here that is cutting costs for you makes it so that you have more money in your pocket. I don't, and if you hear me talking about money a lot lately, a big chunk of that is because of Uranus sitting through, transiting through uh, Taurus right now. Taurus rules our pocketbook, right? And and with Uranus, there's a up and then there's a down. There's an up, there's a down, there's a fix, there's a problem, there's a solution, there's a challenge. So there's a lot of, up and down. The other thing that I want to look at here is the fact that Jupiter, the planet of abundance, expansion, wisdom, philosophy, is also transiting through the sign of Taurus, activating the potential for incredible abundance and opportunity. 
Now it's in a beautiful sextile with Saturn, Saturn sitting in the sign of Pisces and Saturn rules commitment, longevity, bonds that is that we make that last. And in uh, Pisces, this has to all do with artwork, creation, intuition, right? But it's like feeling the vibe. It's the vibes that you have already been sensing and feeling, but it almost hits like you, it almost feels like you hit oil here. Like a vibe pays off. Something like pans, like works together. Like it, it just kind of pivots and it clicks into place and you're like, well, wow, didn't see that coming. But I did because I'm looking at the charts. <laughs> the other thing that I'm looking at here is um, when it comes to relationships, connections, this is one of those weeks where it has the potential to open the door or um, this is one of those moons that can open the door for love at first sight type of energy. You just need to put yourself out there. You really need to put yourself out there. This is um, instant attraction, Cupid's arrow, which is not... It's coincidental, right? And it's not missed by me that um, ha Valentine's Day is a few days after the new moon. But this is, yeah, this is movement forward in an area of your life that you just weren't satisfied with. And you're going to start seeing progress. This is giving new energy in relationships, not, I don't see this as past energy. Again, do you remember how I said Cupid's arrow and then we have the tower card here? The tower card is here is shows up as radical, crazy, wild change, change that we didn't see coming. For those of you guys that are connected to past loves, I really want to tell you that this seems new for me. Like this seems like new energy, not going back to the past. Yeah, you have lover's card here, five of swords. Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Clarify the High Priestess for me, please. The Ten of Cups really wants to show up again. Strength card. This feels like a totally different reading. Um, seven of seven of swords, ace of wands. I was gonna say this feels like something that you are unaware of. It might be something in your subconscious, like a subconscious blockage. I feel like um, someone here might be this new moon. I'm sorry to say this, but this new moon needs to be the moon where you change your own perspective, where you change your approach, because you might be your own worst enemy when it comes to blockages to blessings that the universe is ready to pour into your life. Some of you guys are expecting things to be hard. You're expecting to labor in relationships. So you are actively closing yourself down from newness. Some of you guys have a tendency of taking old ways that you like um, do things and trying to replicate that which didn't work in the past into the present. And what do you get in the future? That what you just were supposed to walk away from. You have to start looking at how to repair your subconscious so that you're not subconsciously creating that in your in your present and in your future because it starts becoming your reality. For, for some of you guys, um, with this Aquarius new moon, it's going to be a shift in your psyche and your mental this is focusing on healing. This is radical departure from ways that just n did not serve you. Um, coming to terms with some of the parts that you need to ask for help with. And inviting that help in, like really inviting that help in, not being someone who has the answers to everything, being someone who listens and applies another person's wisdom. This is going to be tough for some, especially with Chiron here transiting through Aries, North Node and Aries. Oh, that's the alarm going off right now. You're going to hear some soft music in the background. That's the alarm to signal that it's time for me to feed the dogs. It goes off at eight o'clock. Yeah. 
I just, okay, as you're, actually hold on for a minute, sit with what I said. I'm gonna go turn this alarm off, I'll be right back. Guys, as soon as I got up, Franklin ran because he knows what that alarm means. Okay, Franklin's my dog for those of you guys that um, are new friends here. Welcome. Feel free to comment your own pet names down in the, down in the comments. Yeah, Emperor. Uh, it's, whoa, I just, I just heard the word strategy loud and clear, which is a traditionally emperor word. That's why it kind of shocks me so much is because usually when I hear words or feel in my subconscious or in my, in my intuition words, I don't, they don't tend to repeat the meaning of the tarot card because why would they need to do that? Strategy, strategy. Um, the Aquarius new moon is going to highlight strategy. I want to sit with this for a little bit because what are you saying? Um, wow. Okay, I want to talk to you first about the the head, the head space of the emperor. If the emperor is cloudy, if the emperor is unfocused, if the emperor is distracted, if the emperor is getting pulled in different directions that don't serve the highest and greatest good of him and the entire kingdom, the kingdom is vulnerable. There has to be, in order to be empowered, there has to be a council or wise elders or different informants that are bringing information to the emperor to make this person the most informed, aware, and equipped so that this person can use their wisdom, their their counsel to make the right decisions for everyone. In that, not everyone is going to understand. And with that, not everyone is going to agree, but you have to do what you gotta do. When, it, when the crown or when the throne is passed on to someone else, then they can make the, the, the choices and the decisions. But in this case, you're sitting on the throne you're wearing the crown and you call the shots. So there's this whole energy here that I'm picking up on. The word is entitlement, something that you are actually entitled to. It is, it's in your right, it's, it's in your power. It's for you to decide, not for others to decide for you. And if there is something here that is subconsciously allowing others to take your power from you, others to make decisions from you, others that disempower you. This is something that gets squashed. New Moon in Aquarius is the fresh start, the new beginning, where you emerge empowered and entitled. Anything else is a mere distraction and I'm seeing spirit just kind of flicking it away. If the emperor wouldn't engage in, in that energy, why would you? If someone who is on top of their business plan wouldn't say yes to that, why would you? I also feel like for some for someone here, you are just not meant to stretch into all these different roles. You have to find people, places, things to fill those roles for you so that you can level up in the role that is that you're expected to, that you are called to. And for those of you guys that can't relate to this message, you don't necessarily have to, but if you wish you did, it's time to start setting intention and manifesting. It really is. I don't, I don't know another way to say that, you know, gently. And for those of you guys that know me, I don't really uh, sugarcoat things. I just say it like it is. And I wish you um, the best with the choices and decisions that you make. Let me see if there's anything else that I need to talk about here. Um, I just, I'm hearing, I just heard the word strategy again. Some of you guys are focusing on being like uh, popular or seeking attention. I just wanna tell you that's not the goal. Like you think that that's the goal, 
I don't think that that should be your goal. I don't know why. I don't know why that's coming through. It's not what you want it to be. And I don't know if that's someone's ancestor or angels or guide coming through. That's a direct answer to something that you were setting intention for, that you're praying for, that you're asking for confirmation on. Your goal is not to be most popular. I promise you, don't let that be your goal. That's what you think you want. You need to hear this right now. That's not what you want. What is it that it's like... Um, They're saying like quant like you can't quantify something like you can't pop like popularity doesn't doesn't equate to money all the time like it doesn't equate to respect it doesn't equate to longevity you gotta do it something is yeah something staying here about um really letting it like letting it go um hold on let me just I don't want to put words in spirit's mouth right now so just give me a minute. The world card, eight of pentacles, reverse, hangman. Um, for some of you, I'm just really getting a strong sense of like maturity, like growth. Um, this could be spiritual maturity and spiritual growth. Uh, some of you guys, ooh, some of you guys have been manipulated by society. Um, what society told you, what your family expectations told you, that became what you expected for yourself. That's why you want it so bad because you want to close this out and move forward. The truth is, is that you can just completely take it off like a coat and not make this your, look at that, you have the, the three of swords at the bottom. You you can make, you can take it off and decide, listen, this is not, I don't need to co-sign this. Like I can take complete control and power of my life and say that I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to go. Like, do you know that you can do that? If you don't know, this might be a perspective shift that the, the new moon in Aquarius is bringing to you is that you're realizing you're having an awakening moment. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do this. Some of you guys are hoping to build popularity when it's more about, I just want to say, I don't like qualitative. I don't know if that it's, it's quantitative or qualitative is the words that spirit is telling me right now like the quality of something like and how much you deliver on that quality like how often you can deliver on that quality anything else feels like a distraction or something that is off balance or not a part of your purpose um i hope i said that clearly not a part of your purpose three of swords yeah um i just heard um engaged in Damn it, I just lost it. As soon as I heard it, I lost it. Like engaged in something that's not your purpose. Like you're actively building on something that is not your purpose. If you are focused on um, like making it a popularity contest. Being seen, being heard, being acknowledged. Get, trying to get the support and the recognition of people who generally don't matter. It's like trying to climb the corporate ladder when you're meant to be a life coach or doing something totally on your own terms. It doesn't matter whether they approve of you. Nothing that you do would, would make them approve. It's literally set up so that you don't succeed. So when you know that, you start to heal that part. You start, you stop pouring into that you have an awakening you have an awareness and then you adjust accordingly and then when you adjust you have new abundance the energy that you put in over here now all of a sudden it starts paying off on this side why because you pivoted there's a lot of talk here about um migrating like moving into healthier waters for you like healthier this is not just in your work but also relationships migrating away from relationships that you have been committed to or that you have been chasing or that you've been adding logs onto the fire and then meanwhile they're like spitting into the fire and putting it out you know what I mean just doing things that just don't make sense like they're building it's like if I was to dig a hole right if this relationship represented anything here and sometimes it's not just a relationship. Sometimes it's what you're doing in singleness, right? So let's say you're trying to build a fire. Someone's trying to build a fire here. And then another person is digging a hole. And every time they dig the hole with a shovel, they throw the dirt over by the fire and they put out your fire. 
And then they're like, well, no, my, my purpose is to build this hole. And you're like, well, my purpose is to build this fire. Them digging the hole and throwing the dirt into your fire is putting out your fire. And you're just like, it's okay. I'm, I know how to build fire. So I'll build another one. Or you could stop finding yourself in these repeating patterns with people who are not in alignment with you that don't want what you want, like, or nothing is happening in that space, but yet you want something to happen. And now it's, it's we just got to do different. We have to like, like, okay, I'm going to stop digging over here. I'm going to stop putting my fire. I'm going to build my fire over here. I'm going to move forward into healthy, healthy waters. If not, we're just find ourselves in the same cycle, hung in the same situation. So the new moon in Aquarius is actually going to signal the end of that cycle. This could be um, connecting with lawyers and closing out a vicious loop. This could be um, fine, finalizing something and saying enough is enough. This could be um, all this money that I held on to, now I'm going to invest it instead of waiting, like putting it into these random stock things and just waiting for it to grow. This could be um, stop putting energy into places that don't cherish you. Stop making excuses for yourself and, and putting your, make, doing the difficult thing and reaching out to different communities and different tribes, you know? I just wanna tell you, <laughs> wow, yeah, <laughs> the world card. I just wanna tell you that there's tremendous success ahead of you fulfillment ahead of you it doesn't have to mean that you work hard sometimes you just work smarter and you go further sometimes you work more efficiently and you you get you receive more because you started you started thinking different you got inspired this time yeah seven of pentacles you're going to look back and you're going to see how it's all working out you're going to see how it's all paying forward Ace of Cups, yep, newness, freshness, advancement, fertility, growth, expansion, joy, happiness, peace, peace, Ace of Swords, clarity. I just heard the word concern, and I just feel like that's something that you don't need to worry about. Like, you don't need to be concerned about how this is going to pan out. Eight of, Eight of Cups. Six of Swords, Nine of Cups. You just know that it's time for you to move forward. Eight of Cups is the card of letting something go, saying goodbye. Six of Swords is moving from a rockier time or moving from one thing, like transitioning from one thing into the next. Um, and Nine of Cups is the card of like wish fulfilled, like, wow, I'm glad. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm being carried. I'm grateful the universe is looking out for me. I'm grateful my ancestors are bringing my happiness, my joy. My ancestors are looking out for me. I have my ancestor strength. You have these same cards. It's so funny. I'm at the end of the reading and it's bringing it full circle. Sun card, King of Wands, Knight of Swords, empowerment, educated, reformed, refined, ready. That's you. Thank you guys so much for being here and joining me for this new moon reading. I hope that it makes sense. I hope that it resonates. If not, you can make this resonate by setting intention for it. Absolutely. Um, for any type of candles, oils, fixed candles, oils, magic, intention, all of that can be found at Bahati Life Apothecary. The apothecary is open for now. I'm happy to work custom um, orders for you for before I close the shop down. Until then, I do have Bahati Love Note subscription. I'll link the uh, coupon code down below for those of you guys that like to get those exclusive readings from me throughout the month. Until then, make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because uh, YouTube has been pulling people off, like unsubscribing them without them asking, not just my YouTube channel, but other people's and uh, turn on the notifications so that you do get notified and make sure that you follow me on TikTok because I'm on there too. All right, my loves, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.